Well, hello again, sports fans and football fans and Stratomatic football fans. I'm here with a part two of the video that I put up earlier this week where we looked at some of the players in the uh, player cards, the computer player cards, in the 2024 football game based on the 2023 football season, NFL football season. It has become apparent to me that um, I needed a part two because... On a glaring omission of mine, as was pointed out in the comments for the first video, I failed to take a look at any player on either of the Super Bowl teams, which is really bad. And uh, and then I, I got some requests for some other players, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some more players. So, uh, let's, let's not even delay with this. Let's go to the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs, and look at them. So, we're going to go to the computer manager. We're going to look at some of these guys, starting with this guy right here, Patrick Mahomes. And we're going to look at his card. Um, here is his running card. He doesn't have an end run, uh, but his must run looks pretty good. And so does his line buck. His line buck is, is fairly decent. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the must run, that's nice. Here is his passing card. Now, this is really kind of, you know what? I want to say this is kind of underwhelming for a uh, Patrick Mahomes card. But this is what it is. It is what it is. So take a good look at Patrick Mahomes. Now you can see he's got some must runs here, which obviously we just saw is pretty good. So anyway, that's Patrick Mahomes passing. Now let's go look at his tight end, the girlfriend or the boyfriend of Taylor Swift, and uh, take a look at his card, his receiving card. There's his running card, which we really don't care about, and he didn't... Oh, wow! Look at that. Look at this short pass. If you're wrong on short pass, Kelsey only misses once. Uh, and this is in the basic version. I mean, this is like, uh, over here is like uh, advanced. But, uh, yeah, and on flat pass, he only misses once. Um, the long pass, but, you know, he's a tight end, so I guess he wouldn't really be catching a lot of uh, long passes. But there he is, man. I mean, that is a nice card for short and flat pass reception. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What else we got? Pacheco. Let's go look at Pacheco. So uh, we'll look at the card image here. There's the line buck off tackle and end run. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's really a lot better if you're if the defense is wrong. But, yeah, I mean... I could get down with this. Got a long gain on end run. Got a long gain on a, on the line buck. So that is Pacheco. So now let's go look at Kansas City's defense, um, which really, I mean, it, I'm not that impressed. I don't think that their defense was all that great, but let's see what Stratomatic thought. Um, let's go to the notebook on that. Defense versus the run was average, and defense versus the pass was average to good. So there you go. I mean, you know, Strat wasn't impressed with them either. All right, so we're going to look at my cousin Matt's favorite team, the San Francisco 49ers. Let's go look at them. Uh, computer manager. And um, let's go look at Brock Purdy's card. Um, player. Card image. There's his running. He doesn't end run. He's got an okay must run. Uh, passing. Nice nice passing card. Um, not quite as... I would say not quite as good as Mahomes, but I mean it's, it's kind of close though, really, isn't it? Uh, so there you go. There's him. Uh, who else we got here? We, let's take a look at Debo Samuel for the 49ers. Uh, there is his running card, which is really nice. Look at that off tackle. Wrong. Three short gains in a row right in the middle of the card. Six, seven, and eight. Same thing with end run. Six, seven, and eight if you're wrong. That is nice. And what about his pass reception card? Eh, pass reception card's pretty nice too. 
I mean, he's even got like, I mean, he was like a slot guy, slot back, like a guy that they used in a lot of different positions. So sometimes he was a receiver, sometimes he was uh, split wide, sometimes he was a running back. So yeah, I mean, yeah, this is a good card. That's nice. So let's go look at um, the, uh, let's go look at George Kittle. We'll just take a look at George Kittle. See how he compares to Kelsey. Um uh, he compares uh, pretty favorably to Kelsey. Yeah, I would say he's right up there with him. I mean, he misses twice on short pass right or wrong, whereas Kelsey only misses once. But, you know, and again, not much over here in the long pass column, but he is a tight end. So, yeah, there you go. Let's take a look at the San Francisco defense for this uh, particular season. Team, notebook, they are good to excellent against the run, and they're just good against the pass. 12-5 and five record, so there you go with that. Um, there, so there is the two uh, championship teams, the two Super Bowl teams. Let's take a look at Philadelphia. We didn't take a look at anybody on Philadelphia last time. Go to the computer manager. Uh, we will take a look at Jalen Hurts, Mr. Jalen Hurts. And see what his card looks like. Uh, he does have an end run. It's not that great, but he does have one. He can do it. Same thing with must run. His must run isn't really all that great. Um, if we look at his passing card, see, here's the thing. Now, with him, he's got a lot of must runs, but the must run, as we just saw, it's not all that great. So, this is really not that great of a card um, for him. Unless you want a flat pass. If you want a flat pass, okay, Hertz is fine. But once you're getting into short and long, you better the defense better be wrong. Uh, what else have we got here? Let's go with Devonta Smith. Let's see uh, what, what kind of card he's got, what he's looking like. Uh, he's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good card. Um Got the long, double long gain on wrong, uh, short pass. Two long gains on long pass, wrong. Double, and he's got the double, the double long gain here this way um, on six. So a six, a highly rolled number. So yeah, Devonta Smith, pretty good card. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, not gonna look at Goddard. I don't think he was all that great. So let's take a look at the Philadelphia defense. Um, team notebook. And we see that they were good against the run and very poor against the pass. Now you remember Philadelphia, they got off to a pretty good start, but then near the tail end of the season, really near half season on, they, they just kind of fell apart coming down the stretch. So, you know, there's that. Um, let's take a look at Seattle, see if we can find any interesting guys on Seattle. We'll go to the computer manager first. And uh, we will take a look at Geno Smith. We always look at the quarterback. I always want to see, I mean, that sets the table. You know, if you got a good quarterback, you're good. Um, he can't end run. His must run is okay, you know. Um, I wouldn't write home about it. He's really good at the flat pass, but once you're trying anything beyond a flat pass, you're trying a short or a long, not all that great. So we will get out of that. And we'll take a look at their defense team uh, notebook. We can see they were average to poor against the run and average against the pass defensively. So that was uh, that's your look at Seattle. Uh, let's go take a look at Minnesota. I don't think we looked at any Minnesota uh, players last time. Team, computer manager, and uh, let's look at, now see, you've got Josh Dobbs as the starter, but let's look at Josh Dobbs' card because he was on a few different teams. Um, he does have an end run, and the end run is actually kind of nice, especially if you're wrong. I mean, really only if you're wrong. 
Um, and the must run is nice if you can roll a low number, but once you get even in the middle area, it's not all that great. His passing card, again, really good against flat for flat passes, but once you get short and long, he isn't all that great, which you probably could have probably figured, but we're going to take a look at Kirk Cousins. Uh, Kirk Cousins, he attempted how many passes? 311. So, you know, I mean, if I was playing the Vikings, if I was doing a season, I would play him, like, almost every game. Unless there was an injury rule that he couldn't play beyond, you know, the relative number of games or passes that he did. But you can see he's got a good card. Of course, Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback. Got a double long gain on long pass at 9. Um, let's see the must run. Yeah, the must run is terrible. So if he, if he has to run, you can forget it. You don't want to roll that must run. Flat pass, really good. Short pass, wrong. Good. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, Justin Jefferson. Let's take a look at him. Um, and look at his pass reception card. Yeah, that is, that's a sweet card. Double, he's got two long gains on short pass. He's got two long gains in a row here on long pass wrong and a double long gain at seven on long pass. And he has a long gain on flat pass. Again, you know, when I was a kid, I don't remember receivers having long gains on flat pass, but somebody who had one of the original sets from like the 70s or 80s said that they did. So I, don't, I didn't remember that being the case, but it's, it, you know, in these newer in the in the reissued sets and in these newer sets for you know the year that we just came out of it seems to be ha it happens a lot so anyway uh that is that's them let's take a look at the uh, minnesota defense team um notebook they were good to excellent against the run and poor against the pass so yeah you might have some issues if you're trying to do the uh and, and let's go look at my old nemesis, the Green Bay Packers. Uh, we'll go look at the computer manager first, and we will look, of course, at Jordan Love. Again, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, you know. Um, and that's why the first video I didn't do all of these other players and all of these other teams, because, I mean, it would have been like a 30-minute video. And we all know nobody watches a 30-minute video. A 40-minute video, nobody watches that. So anyway, uh, here is, um, this is Jordan Love's passing card. Let's say, let's go back to the running card. He won't end run. The uh, must run is, yeah, you know, you got to roll a low number to get a good must run from him. Um, but the passing card is pretty good. This is a good passing card. And it got him the highest salary of any player in um, the NFL. So, I mean, it would have to be good, right? Uh, let's see, who else we got here? Um, Aaron Jones is always a guy that, uh, he's really, he's a stick in the, in the bear's ass. So let's take a look at him. Yeah, he's got a good card. That's his running card. Let's see, even see his passing card. All right, well, not much there except on flat. He can catch a flat pass, but after that, you know, he's better off catching a cold. So we've got, uh, yeah, but he this is a nice running card for him. All right, uh, so let's get out of that and see what Green Bay's defense was. Team uh, Notebook. They were average to poor against the run and average against the pass. I don't know. You know what? I'm almost tempted to take the Bears, the final Bears, against this final Green Bay team and see if they could win. But because uh, you remember, I mean, like their first, or, the Bears' like first game of the year was against Green Bay, and that was before their defense had been shored up, um, like with the uh, acquisition of Montez Sweat and uh, some of the other changes that they made. So uh, let's take one, one last team we're going to take a look at is Detroit. Um, let's go look at uh, the, um, let's go look at the computer manager and we'll take a look at Goff, of course, see what he looks like. There's his running card. Of course, he doesn't end run, and Goff doesn't end run, and his must run is nothing to write home about. Not that good. 
Uh, but his passing card is uh, his passing card fairly good. I mean, you know, I'm not saying you know, I'm not saying I wouldn't want to go a full season with this guy. But yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty good. Especially, I mean, if you stick to the flat pass and especially the short, if you can trick somebody and they guess wrong, yeah. So I don't, there, he, there's Goff. Um, let's see, who else have we got? They got a good tight end, don't they? Um, yeah, Laporta, I think it was Laporta, yeah, Laporta was good. Let's take a look at his pass reception card. That's uh, not bad, it's not a Kelsey, though. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. A pretty good card. Um, and then who else do we have? I don't think anybody else I want to look at. So, um... Let's take a look at the Detroit defense. Uh, go to notebook, and they are good to excellent against the run, but poor against the pass. So, there you go on that. And uh, that is about all I'm going to look at. So that's this version. This is this is a uh, part two. Hopefully, I've covered a lot of the players you would want to see. I mean, teams like New England and Las Vegas, they didn't have anybody you want to see, and you can guess that their defense wasn't that great. So uh, that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.